Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest and most exciting developments in the world of military technology and geopolitics. Today, we take you on board the U.S. Navy's most advanced stealth destroyer, as it takes center stage in an extraordinary display of strength near the South China Sea border. Stay tuned as we reveal the astounding capabilities of this naval marvel. Before we dive into the action, let's take a moment to admire the sheer magnificence of the U.S. Navy's stealth destroyer. This technological masterpiece is a symbol of American engineering and innovation, designed to operate in stealth mode, eluding enemy radars, and staying undetected. The U.S. Navy announced at a symposium in Virginia that it plans to test fire its new hypersonic weapon from the stealth destroyer U.S. Zumwalt in December 2025. This hypersonic weapon called the Intermediate Range Conventional Prompt Strike is designed to release powerful glide vehicle munitions with a range exceeding 1,700 miles and a maximum speed equal to or exceeding a mile per second. The Navy has emphasized it views CPS as a strategic but not nuclear weapon reserved for critical time-sensitive targets that are heavily defended like command posts, air bases, radars, missile batteries, and depots full of fuel or munitions. The 16,000-ton Zumwalt and her only two sister ships, Michael Monsoor and Lyndon B. Johnson, are presently the only surface warships slated to integrate the CPS missiles, carrying up to 12 of the 8-ton missiles in four multi-missile launch tubes. These will take the place of the two large gun turrets originally intended to be their primary armament, removed after the relevant ammunition proved too expensive per shot. CPS is the product of a joint program between the Navy and Army to develop a common hypersonic glide body, CHGB, which, after being hurled into the air by two rocket boosters, releases a hypersonic glide vehicle that skips just above the atmosphere towards its target. The Army's version, called the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, ORHUOE, or Dark Eagle, is due to begin deploying in 2023. It comes in the form of launch trailers towed by M983 trucks, with eight missiles in each battery that will be attached to long-range precision fire battalions, organic to new multi-domain task force units. While Army Dark Eagles will take off via conventional hot launch, the Navy's instead will use a pressurized air-cold launch systems that helps avoid frying the decks of launching Zumwalt destroyers and for submarines, ensures the missile leaps out of water before igniting their rocket boosters. The Navy is outfitting an underwater test facility in Crane, Indiana to test this capability. Both the Zumwalt and submarines are to varying degrees stealth platforms with decent odds of darting within range of land targets to release their weapons without being detected and destroyed. However, both vessels will need to then return to port to reload. Strictly speaking, hypersonic ballistic missiles that can exceed five times the speed of sound have existed for many decades. However, the term usually refers to hypersonic glide vehicles maneuverable munitions released just above the atmosphere by a ballistic missile that can skip atop the denser air molecules below before plunging down onto target. Hypersonic glide weapons are more maneuverable, allowing them to navigate around air defense zones and approach at a shallower trajectory than the steeply lofted and predictable arc of a traditional ballistic missile, making them harder to detect and track. The U.S. current top-tier standoff cruise missiles are AGM-158, A-BJASSM, and anti-ship AGM-158 CLRASM, which rely on stealth to evade detection and interception. It's debatable whether hypersonic weapons are strictly more effective at evading air defenses and reducing warning time than stealthy cruise missiles. However, Russia's and China's extensive boasting about their unique hypersonic weapons creates an impetus for the U.S. to match their capability, despite available alternatives. Even North Korea tested its first such weapon in 2021. The U.S. is also developing an air-breathing hypersonic weapon relying on a scratchet-type motor combined with rocket boosters. These could prove even more evasive, 
but the technological challenges are considerable. The stealth destroyer is armed with a formidable arsenal of these hypersonic missiles, each equipped with advanced target tracking systems, ensuring unparalleled precision and accuracy. Even the most agile and elusive targets stand no chance against this deadly combination. The deployment of hypersonic missiles aboard the Stealth Destroyer marks a significant turning point in naval warfare. With the ability to strike enemy assets at incredible speeds and from great distances, the U.S. Navy now possesses an unparalleled advantage in any potential conflict scenario. Beyond its combat capabilities, the Stealth Destroyer plays a crucial role in safeguarding global security and maintaining peace on international waters. Its presence ensures the protection of vital sea lanes and contributes to the stability of the region. As we conclude our journey into the world of the U.S. Navy's Stealth Destroyer and its new hypersonic missiles, we are left in awe of the incredible advancements in naval technology. The future is promising, and we can rest assured that the U.S. Navy remains at the forefront of innovation safeguarding our seas, and defending our freedom. Thank you for joining us on this gripping journey through the U.S. Navy's Stealth Destroyer and its new hypersonic missiles. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more exclusive updates on military technology and geopolitical developments worldwide. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.